Yo, what is going on guys? My name's AJ and welcome to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to download Xenoverse 2 mods on PC 2023, the latest release. It's going to be a quick and easy guide on how to do so. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the video. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up a browser, whether it be Microsoft Edge or Google Search. You guys get the point, any of those. In this case, I'm using using Microsoft Edge to search this up so you can use any of them but yeah I'm gonna be using Microsoft Edge also guys I do want to mention that this does not work on consoles or anything else like that so like if you have an Xbox or a PlayStation and you want to get mods for it this doesn't work for that okay so now that I got that out of the way what you want to do is come up to your search bar and type in Xenoverse mods all right so now there's going to be a link on the top. It's going to be the first link. You guys want to click the first link. So click on that and it should open up this beautiful page filled with mods and different Xenoverse stuff for you to download. Once you're on the home page, go ahead. You don't have to log in slash register. You guys don't have to do that. But if it requires you to do so, go ahead and do so. Um, So what you want to do is navigate to dashboard. Then what you guys want to do is go to popular. And on popular, we're going to see this thing called eternity tools. You want to click on that okay so you guys may be asking what is eternity tools so basically what eternity tools is is your dragon ball xenoverse 2 patcher and installer now what is a patcher and what is an installer um it basically says it right here on the website a xenoverse 2 patcher is a tool that includes a series of patches for xenoverse 2 such as allowing files to be loaded from data allowing more characters skills stages and etc now your xenoverse installer is pretty self explanatory it just basically installs the mod hey guys before we actually get on with the video i just wanted to mention that in order to extract the eternity tools file um and actually put it into your game and stuff and actually use the file you're gonna need this software called winrar now i will leave it linked in the description down below or you can just go on google and search up winrar.com and it should be like the first link so what you're gonna do when you're on this screen is go ahead and click download winrar now you can click here um and just click again, download WinRAR. Okay. All right. So it's eventually going to download. Whatever you do, do not click anything on this screen. It's eventually going to download. See, it says winrar.exe. So just run the exe and just follow the steps that it has on the screen here. It's going to give you these prompts. So just follow that, accept it, and install it. And as soon as you install it, you should be good. Do nothing else. You have WinRAR. And now all your files just show up as this little bookcase logo here so now let's get on with the video so now the final thing you're going to want to do on this page is go ahead and click the download button finally so let's go ahead and click that and now you should see your eternity tool zip file now downloading now good thing we got winrar because now we can actually extract that file but before you guys actually extract the eternity tools file what i want you guys to do is quickly open steam and navigate to your dragon ball xenoverse 2 game do not play it just hover over it and I, what i want you guys to do is right click and go to manage and browse local files and it will take you to the main file page that you need to get to once the folder actually opens what you want to do is click nothing in here but go ahead and navigate to the left side of your screen where it says download what you want to do is don't click on it but right click on it and then click open new window so let's go ahead and do that and now a new window is going to open for your downloads what you're going to do is minimize both of them side by side just so you can keep track on both sides now what you're gonna do is open your zip file that you see in downloads it's gonna come up with this prompt saying winrar license just click the x uh you don't actually have to buy anything winrar is totally free now what you're gonna do is go ahead and navigate to these xv2 ins.zip this is going to be your installer and then the next one's gonna be your patcher but let's go ahead and do the installer first so now let's go into the installer it's gonna come up with this prompt again just exit that out now we're gonna grab these files and go ahead and drag them to your xenoverse 2 folder 
Now it's gonna extract, it's gonna do its thing. Now it's gonna ask me to replace the destination because I already have the mods and the installer installed. But for your case, it would be for the first time. So yeah, it'll just install automatically. You'll be fine. It'll just extract normally. So once you got the installer in, what you wanna do is close out of this and go back to this main page on the WinRAR uh, Eternity Tools section. Now you wanna grab the patcher and go into it. And now it's gonna come up with the prompt again. Just exit. And now you wanna grab all of this stuff same thing what you did with the installer and just drag it across and now it's gonna extract and do its thing i'm gonna click replace because i have it already i had it already now yeah guys you got the patcher and installer now you can actually start putting xenoverse to mods now aj how do i get mods so basically where you want to get all your mods from is the xenoverse website where we actually downloaded the eternity tool so you guys want to go ahead and go there and scroll there's tons of different mods that you can get now you also may be wondering aj how do i install mods well i got you guys covered because what you want to do is go ahead and go to your xv2ins.exe go ahead and launch that and when you open it, it's going to give you a little prompt for the first time saying, uh, I think you got to find your game path. So basically how you do that is go to your Windows C drive. In my case, it was my D drive, but it should be in your Windows C drive. And then you want to navigate to Steam library, go to Steam apps, common, and then find your Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 folder, highlight it and select the folder. And now you should have your game pass so uh yeah i'm gonna go back and to actually install a mod so once you get a mod from the website and download it you want to go to this little folder right here with the green plus open that up now i did download a mod just to show you guys how this actually works so the mod is going to be in an x2m file so yeah you're going to see the file type going to be x2m you want to click on it it's going to say do you want to install the following mod yes and now the mod should successfully install so that's basically how you put in a dragon ball xenoverse mod now guys the absolute last thing in this video you may be asking aj how do i actually launch my game with the mods what you don't want to do is go to steam and click this big green button and click play you do not want to launch the game like that where you do want to launch the game is this same folder right here your uh local file you want to go to your bin folder and now you want to open it up through this dragon ball xenoverse 2.exe you want to open it through here now a thing i highly recommend you do is create a shortcut and just put it on your desktop so you can just launch it whenever you want if you did everything correctly it should actually open so yeah here we go we're launching the game and here we are dragon ball xenoverse 2 so the game actually opened so that's a good sign and my mod should be in so i'll show you guys the map i got okay so it looks like our map actually did successfully install so that's awesome as you guys see here big getty star is now a map for me so yeah guys um that's pretty much it this is how you get xenoverse mod this is like the most quickest and easy way to get these mods thank you guys so much for watching if this video helped you out make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already as always stay truly i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye